Did you know that the benefit of being spending time alone is that it increases your self-esteem? We live in a world where we're in constant contact and we're losing the beautifulness of learning how to spend time alone. You know, every time you get bored or every time you're in your feelings or every time that you're feeling um, any kind of certain way, you immediately pick up a phone or you find some way of distracting yourself. The beautiful thing of learning how to spend time of lo alone is that it helps you recognize what is it that you want? What is it that you're thinking? What is it that's, that's preventing you from moving forward? If you haven't learned the subtleness of learning how to spend time alone, well then this is the beautiful, fantastic video for you. Hi, my name is Vanessa. I'm a certified life coach. I live in Sweden. I'm an American. As you can see, I'm biracial. I'm married with stepchildren, an autistic son, and a chosen daughter. My life experience is vast and it's amazing. And I have learned so many hard lock lessons throughout, the, throughout my entire life experience thus far. And my objective and what I love to do is to help each and every one of you get from where you are to where you wanna be. Sharing experiences, sharing tools and techniques that will always help you live your life with grace, integrity, and confidence. So let's lean into it. Learning how to spend time alone is something that benefits each and every one of us. Now, being alone is significantly different than being lonely. Cultivating the, um, the relationship that you have with yourself comes with being able to be self-reflective. Part of being self-reflective is being able to stop and assess, hey, what's going on with me? Why is this working? Why isn't it not working? And then what is the next logical conclusion or the next logical step for me to get from here to where I wanna be? If you don't have the space in your mind and have an understanding of exactly who you are and what you want, it's as easy as learning and applying these top 16 ways in which to recognize how to learn how to spend time with yourself. The first one is learning how, you know, spending time reading a book or watching something that's really interesting to you. Being able to understand what are the things that interest you, help you recognize what are the things you want to spend time doing and who do you want to spend time doing it. Number two is taking time to take a walk or take a hike. Spending that time alone, one, gives you physical activity, two, every time that you're out in fresh air, it cleans out all your EBGVs, it gets rid of your stress and anxiety. And when you're out there, it allows you to be more clear and concise on what's going on with you, feeling that inner space within you, recognizing whether you feel safe or you don't feel safe, or what is it that you want, or you need, or you desire at this specific time. Of the 16, I love anything that has to do with being creative. So painting or drawing or um, baking, anything that has you kind of like in a creative flow. You could literally be vacuuming and just thinking about music and it just has you in this space where you're having a little bit of an activity, but you're also being a little creative. C cooking is a fantastic way that, for example, my husband, oh my gosh, he loves baking and he's so good at baking sourdough bread and making French uh, baguette loaves out of that for us on the weekends. And that's the way that he uses his, his creative essence, which when you know what you like, it helps you to identify what are the things that make you happy and it helps you spend time with the people that you actually are, that are nurturing and that you nurture and they give you something back and forth. If you don't have the clarity and the wherewithal to recognize, am I with a person that I really enjoy or not? Am I doing the kind of work that I really enjoy or not? Am I in a relationship with someone that I want to be or not? Being able to have that time for self-reflection allows you to recognize what is it within you or what is it within the situation that you're an equal participant in
that's not fulfilling your wants and your needs and desires. And part of having that that nice silence within you to to be able to go inside and be introspective. It also amplifies your emotional intelligence, you know, your EQ. And every time that you improve your EQ, it helps you in how do you engage with others. It helps you to assess every situation and recognize what is the best outcome for you. Because let's be completely honest, each and every one of us, um, whether you realize it or not, every interaction that you're with, you're constantly adjusting and engaging what the other person is doing and perhaps, you know, monitoring how you respond. And that is good in some situations, but to be authentic and to be whole, holy yourself when you engage in any type of situation means that you understand exactly who you are and where you come from, what you want, and you express yourself clearly and concisely each and every time. Also, solitude is so good because it's a time for reflection. It helps you to think about things more deeply. And like I said, in a world where we're increasingly focused on speed and competitiveness, it's solitude is a precious time. It's something really to be treasured. So another part of um, learning the top 16 ways of being alone and loving it is also you can take a shower you can take a nice bath and spend some time just being reflective and having self-care and enjoying yourself it could be something like going to a museum and walking completely alone and looking at art and seeing how how it resonates with you or how it doesn't resonate with you whether you like you know uh, renaissance or you like baroque or you like modern or you like contemporary, these are all part of the things of getting to know yourself. Now here's a really interesting thing that a lot of people struggle with. If you don't know how to spend time with yourself, it's okay. If it's not something that you learn how to do, it's not a big deal. But as you learn forward, you can do things like schedule time, 10 or 20 minutes every single day to just say, you know what? Today I'm gonna sit down and I'm just going to read my favorite book. Just schedule the time for yourself. Or it could be today I'm going to spend time walking outside by the river or by the ocean or taking a hike completely by yourself and just start recognizing how do you feel or what do you make those moments feel for yourself. And you could also do something like going out to dinner. I love going out to dinner by myself. I love having a table and just enjoying the food and maybe I look at the people that are around me, but it's more focused on I like this moment. I like myself. And the more that you learn to cultivate that aspect of you, the better that you are at becoming more self-reflective. The more you increases your self-awareness, it increases your self-esteem. It allows you to value yourself in a way that you've never done before. And remember, all of these things are just a skill. If you've never done it before, it's all right because your default mode, you have spent tens of thousands of hours cultivating how to do that. And then when you're learning a new skill, remember, it's gonna take you 10, 20, 30, 100, 1,000 hours to, of practice to implement it in your life as it becomes part of you, just like anything else that you do. So I trust that recognizing what are the, uh, the best way to be alone and to spend time with yourself really improves your EQ. It, it improves how you not only express yourself and take care of yourself and love yourself, you're also teaching other people exactly how to treat you. So I trust that learning how to spend time alone is, will improve how you care for yourself and that you're always focused on being confident and having grace and spending your time in integrity and living your life to the best of your ability. Everything on this channel is all about life and relationships and the wheel of life and how do we master ourselves so that we can live the best life to the best of our possibilities. Every Thursday I drop a new video on my website, vanessaleecurley.com. You can subscribe to my website and get a blog if it's something that you love to read that all the information every week kind of ties along with itself. Subscribe and become a member of our community. I'd love to have you. Enjoy your week 
and I'll see you in the next one.